battery draining too fast. What if you could choose exactly how your phone saves power down to every detail? Samsung smartphones have a power saving mode, which is a common feature found in most phones. But with One UI 7.0, Samsung has made this feature more customizable, giving you more control over how it works. Android and iOS devices have had power saving mode for a long time, but usually you can only turn it on or off. By default, it reduces things like background network activity, sensing, location use, and drops the screen refresh rate to 60 Hz. However, you often can't change how it works or customize it. Samsung devices give you more control over power saving with extra options to help save battery. You can turn on power saving from the quick settings or in the battery settings. In One UI 6, you also get these extra power saving options. Turn off always on display. Limit CPU speed to 70%. Lower screen brightness by 10%. Turn off 5G. Limit background apps and home screen features. You can turn these options on or off using the switch in front of each one. Now with One UI 7.0, Samsung has added three new power saving options. Set motion smoothness to standard. Turn on dark mode. Set screen timeout to 30 seconds. Here you can check the screenshot for more comparison. Before, the refresh rate would automatically turn off in power saving mode, but now you can choose how it works. Dark mode and screen timeout also help save battery. If you want to get the best battery life, turn on limit apps and home screen. This option only allows a few selected apps, stops all background activity, turns off edge panels, and switches on dark mode. If you don't want to use these extra power saving features, just use the switch in front to stick with the default battery saving settings. Also, if you turn off the high refresh rate, the CPU will automatically be limited to 70%. To try these extra power saving options, go to settings greater than battery greater than power saving. So if you're serious about getting the most out of your battery, One UI 7.0's upgraded power saving mode gives you more control than ever. Try out the new options and customize your way. Your battery will thank you. And one last thing, I've noticed some people commenting on recent videos saying this is fake or it's not working. Just keep in mind, not every solution works for everyone. Some features might help certain users more than others depending on your usage and device. Please don't spread hate in the comments. I'm genuinely trying my best to help solve the battery drain issues. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. Samsung has just rolled out the highly anticipated Android 15 based One UI 7 update for the Galaxy S21 series in Canada and it's already been available in other regions like the US, India, and Europe. This marks the final major OS update for the Galaxy S21 series, which started with Android 11 and has now received four major Android updates. After this, the S21 lineup won't get Android 16. But don't worry, Samsung will still provide security updates for these devices. If you're in Canada, you can identify the One UI 7 update by the following build versions. G991 WVLUEHYDA for the Galaxy S21. G996 WVLUEHYDA for the S21 Plus. And G998 WVLUEHYDA for the S21 Ultra. The update is about 3.6 GB in size, so make sure you're connected to Wi Fi before you start the download. Now let's dive into the exciting new features that come with this update. One of the major changes is the vertical scrolling app drawer, which is a fresh look compared to the usual horizontal scroll. The app icons have also been redesigned for a cleaner and more modern aesthetic. Home screen folders are now bigger, making it easier to manage your apps. And widget customization has been improved, giving you more control over how things look on your home screen. The update also introduces updated designs for many apps improving the overall user experience. On top of all that, the update includes the April 2025 security patch, which ensures that your phone stays secure and performs at its best. To check if the update is available for your phone, go to settings greater than software updates greater than download and install. If you've received the update, go ahead and install it to enjoy all the new features. So what do you think of One UI 7 on the Galaxy S21? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.